An Upshur County jury has awarded more than $100 million to a man who sued a major trucking company after a 2013 crash. The jury ruled in favor of the plaintiff, Joshua Patterson, after his attorney argued that the company violated its own policy, which should have prevented the truck driver from being employed in the first place. KLTV7's Brianna Rivers brings us the details. They shouldn't have let Mr. Acker in that truck, and their policy said let him go fire him. They didn't do it. A civil trial in a relatively small East Texas county came to a close, making a rather large impact. This jury sent a powerful message that we will not in this country tolerate corporate indifference. The Upshur County jury found FTS Manufacturing International, a trucking company, and one of their former drivers, Bill Acker, at fault for a 2013 crash on Highway 259. Joshua Patterson was driving a pickup when rear ended. He suffered neck and back injuries. Mr. Acker was the driver. Mr. Acker was the individual who was under the influence of marijuana and methamphetamines at the time, according to the testing conducted. That testing by FTS was never turned over to law enforcement. Background check, not conducting it thoroughly. The company had policy after policy that they failed to for, you know, enforce the rules which would have stopped him from being the driver. According to testimony, the FTS policy violation stems from the beginning of Acker's employment when they failed to run an accurate background check, thus hiring Acker unaware of violations on his driving record. Do you accept that your company never should have allowed Mr. Acker to drive your 18-wheeler? Yes or no? Again, in hindsight, I can certainly see why he should not have been hired. The information we had was not correct. FTS declined to comment, but during closing arguments, an attorney for the company spoke in hushed tones to the jury, arguing that the plaintiff was asking for too much in damages. But Patterson's attorney, Brent Godarzi, urged the jury to send a message that would keep unfit drivers from behind the wheel of a semi truck. Don't just stop it here, stop it for all the companies. Which is what Godarzi hopes the jury did with their verdict awarding Patterson more than $101 million. Brianna Rivers, KLTV 7 News. Patterson was awarded $26 million for pain and suffering and just a little more than $75 million for punitive damages or punishment.